Welcome to another video. So take a look at this clip here. So as you can see, there's a man, he's performing front crawl, and it looks a little slow. So let's fix it for him. His feet are completely underneath the water. You don't see any white water. You need to see white water consistently when you're front kicking, when you're doing front crawl. If not, that means you're dragging a piano behind you. Okay, so what does he have to do? He needs to elevate his hips. He needs to work on his flutter kicks alone. How do you do that? You hold the kickboard, and you do flutter kick drills, front kick drills from one end of the pool to the other. Back and forth, back and forth. It's just like uh, warming up a car before you head outside, okay? Now you don't just start revving the engine and go like full speed out the garage door. No, you take it slow. So how do you warm up your front crawl? Well, at the beginning of your session, hold the kickboard, do front kick drills. I don't know why people skip this. Every time I see them, they just like, they show up at the pool, they go into the water, and they start cranking out front crawl like it's you know the end of the world. No, you need to warm up, okay? You warm up your body for front crawl. So how do you do that? Step by step. First step is front kick drills. Now, second thing you notice is his arms. Obviously his arms. Now, what do you see his arms doing? They look like this, they enter the water, and he pulls and they look like this. He's doing a rake. Or the claw, <laughs> okay? This is grabbing nothing. This grabs nothing. Just like the claw game at the, you know, your arcade center. This does nothing. It grabs nothing, okay? What you need to do is, you can do this outside of the water, but once you enter the water, you need to do this. See my hand? It's cupping. Cupping, like a spoon. This is a giant spoon now. And I pull as much water beside me and behind me okay work on this cupping your hands you don't need to flex your arm like you're grabbing a dumbbell or something no you just need to be firm right this is firm as in if the water brushes it through this no water is going to oh open my fingers up that's how i'm not applying a lot of force here see look at my hand okay just enough tension so that water doesn't escape between these fingers, okay? Because you need this whole surface area and this whole surface area here to pull as much water as possible, okay? So the third thing you notice is that his shoulders are pretty square. This is what his shoulders look like, okay? You can't see it, but I can see it. I can tell, okay? If you looked at a bird's eye view, it looks like this. He's doing this. What you should be doing is this. Do you see the shoulders now? Oh baby, look at that. One shoulder up, one shoulder down. One shoulder up, one shoulder down. What am I doing? I'm reaching. Reaching. Why are swimmers so tall? Because they do this constantly, all the time. They do thousands of repetitions of reaching as much as possible. Why are basketball players so tall? They do constant repetitions of reaching up. Reaching with one arm, reaching with two arms. Same thing with swimming. This is why swimmers are tall. They reach in front of them. So this guy is doing this. He's not reaching. Okay? Just like a speed skater, you know? You see those speed skaters, they carve the ice and they reach with each skate. Okay? They're not doing this. They're doing this. They're gliding from one side, gliding to the other. Gliding from one side, gliding. That's how they gain so much distance with such minimal effort. And same thing can do, applies to this guy. He can grab as much water and distance with minimal effort. He doesn't have to pull hard. That's the difference between like swimming fast and swimming slow. But the technique is the same, okay? You cup your hands, you pull and you reach with the shoulders, okay? You reach. You reach, and you reach. Keep that in mind when you're doing your front crawl. I don't know why people do this. 
Like they're a sloth or a mummy or a zombie. And get nothing done, okay? There's a difference between an inefficient slow front crawl and an efficient slow front crawl. If I want to take it slow, I'm still doing this. All I do is just tone down the level, the energy, okay? I just don't apply as much force when I pull. I just, just, yes, keep it nice and relaxed, okay? So, those are my tips for this gentleman. I hope that helps. And uh, if you want to learn how to swim, visit my website, 70sim.co, and get the free ebook, okay? Get the ebook, please. This ebook is going to help you. It will help you on your swimming journey, and it's totally free, okay? You click it. The link down below, you get instant access, you read it, and you become a much smarter swimmer than 99% of the people in the pool that you share the lanes with, okay? So get it now. Get ready for summer 2022. My name's Justin. Thanks for watching. Love you and bye!